Hi everyone, my name is King IV, and uh, this is an introduction to our workshop. And in this workshop, we're going to be solving, basically performing logistical regressions so that we can solve the classification problem. Basically, how do you classify items uh, between certain categories? So for example, uh, how do you know if an email is spam versus not spam? And, uh, and we're going to show you and how you use the stats to predict a probability of something occurring. So this is in contrast to regressions, which is more about predicting a certain value given a certain set of inputs. Okay, so I've already attached the basketball.seasons data. And if you recall, in the basketball.seasons data, uh, we have a number of, uh, number of different variables here. So one of the variables that I'm interested in, if I can find it, is all-star games played. So I want to know, can we predict whether or not someone's going to be an all-star based off the number of points that they score? And this logic, this um, analysis is slightly flawed because typically you would get it based off of their how many points they scored halfway through the season, but I, I just have the full season. So let's just see um, just for the purposes of this test. So what we're going to do is we are going to, we are going to use this function. We're going to go glm.fit equals glm as all star uh, games played and we're going to do it based off the number of points that they score and we're going to do family equals binomial because we want to do logic score regression okay so let's take a look at this glm.fit Okay, so when we take a look at this, uh, we will see that it is the null hypothesis is rejected uh, because it does have a high z value and and the very small probability that it's going to be uh, zero. So it's good. So it beats the null hypothesis, uh, and we'll see how successful it is actually predicting the results. So how do we determine the prediction? So we're going to use this function called we're going to use prediction. So we're going to use this function called predict. And we're going to say glm uh, dot fit predict type uh, the response. So how well does it fit the res uh, fit the response? Okay, so let's take a look at what that looks like. So I'm, gonna go s I'm just going to type it. Uh, we're going to go head dot glm dot print uh, pred, which will give us the first six. So you'll, so you'll see the probability of someone being an all star given all these particular values. Okay, so that's that's useful. And the next function we're gonna do is glm.prob. So what's the probability of something occurring, of, it, of them being an all-star? So what we're gonna do there is we're gonna go glm.pred. If it's greater than 50%, let's say that they are an all-star. So let's go um, one, if they are an all-star, which means they played in the game, Actually, one, otherwise zero. Oh, okay. I actually forgot. Sorry. So we're going to, we are going to go. Sorry, it's actually if else. Yeah, sorry. I'm jumping ahead. If else, GLM pred is greater than 50%. Make it one, otherwise make it zero. And how are you how are you gonna determine whether or not I actually did it correctly? So we're gonna use this function called table.glm.pred. And so basically it's gonna create a matrix, hopefully a two by two one. Oh nope, not pred. Uh, probability. So we'll see here the on diagonal ones are basically where it's correctly labeled. So for example here, this is where the data says that it was zero and the probability says it was zero here. And then here it says like they were an all-star and then here the prediction says it was an all-star. But we also have like 302 all-stars that weren't predicted and then 857 that we said that were all, that the data said that they were all-stars but said they weren't 
and 302 times that they said that they were. So let's take a look at the mean. So let's go glm.prob is equal equal to as games played. So 95% uh, uh, probability, also majority of players are not um, all-stars. So you may want to penalize the mistakes uh, more often. So you'll see that we actually misclassified a good portion of the people that were all-stars as not all-stars. Um, but that's essentially uh, how you use GLM to solve the classification problem. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave it in the section below. Thank you. And actually, what I wanted to do before ending the video is to show you how you can quickly modify your analysis based off of the scripts that you've already developed. So since we already have the scripts up here, and right now we're just doing it based off of points, but let's try to include, for example, rebounds and assists and see if that makes any difference. So we're going to start at the top, rebounds and assists. We have our analysis. We see here all of them are statistically significant. Okay, let's see how I'll we'll end up predicting our results. So we see the various analysis there. We do the probability, we do the analysis. Okay, we actually, when we compare the two tables, we actually pick up a few more of the all-stars. We'll see if the uh, percentages are more correct. So we have 94.95% and up here we have 94.56%. So as you can see, as we build out more of these variables, we can quickly change our models. Obviously, is 0.5% um, uh, probability increase that good? You can also penalize uh, based off the number of incorrect all-stars or the ones that were labeled as all-stars but really aren't. You could penalize it that way. Obviously, I'm just throwing out some arbitrary examples, but uh, pretty interesting uh, nonetheless and uh, how you can quickly adjust and you do favor on the simpler model but this is a good way of using regression uh, using stats to try to predict whether or not something will actually occur thank you